My name is Swedish Eagle. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's time now to introduce our first Zoom in guests of the day. And it's the scum frog, Jesse Hauk. He's a Dutch American DJ, producer, artist, mostly known for his underground flavored remixes of artists like Missy Elliott, New Order, Annie Lennox, and his collaborations and a writing and producing techno-oriented works with the late David Bowie and Sting. He's released four albums as a solo artist, and as a DJ, he's toured the world many times over. Did I get that right? <laughs> I think you did. Okay. So good to see you, man, after all those years. I know. It's been really, it's really good to see you, too. So do you remember, do you have any idea of how long it's been? Because we were just talking off the air for a minute. It could be like 30 years since we saw each other in person. Well, I was thinking about that. And you know what? People our age should not discuss exactly how long it's been. So it's been a minute and it's really good to see you again, but you look better than ever. So let's just leave it at that. Yeah. Likewise, Jesse. Likewise, Jesse, the scum frog back again. We, I don't know exactly where I found this song. You have a new song out that's currently, and we want to say officially, congratulations. You have the number one song on our top five countdown this week with a song called Tiny Little Human. Cheers. School. Cheers to that. And so tell us what is the song all about and how did the concept come together? And uh, then uh, you're going to ha have to help me introduce the video with all the little Lego uh, beings. Right. Well, the, the real purpose of the song was that I, I was thinking – if I'm going to be on Swedish Eagle top five, <laughs> how do I beat out Major Laser? Like that was really the thing. Um, so I set out there, and it was this was back in April. Uh, no, so I'm uh, all, all kidding aside. I'm I'm quarantined in the Bahamas, which is like being quarantined in paradise. Uh, so for every bad thing that I can say about quarantine, uh, all of my friends will tell me to shut up because I'm experiencing all of this in paradise. Um, so I'm locked down here in the Bahamas, or at least uh, back in April, May, June. And uh, I, I had all this music going on in Brooklyn. There's a live music uh, production that I was doing that is on hold. So I figured, you know, let's just do what I always did and make music. But I wanted to make a song that was really about the quarantine experience rather than the dance floor experience because there is no dance floor experience. So uh, I, I wrote a song and I, I played guitar and I, I did this thing on this A-frame drum, which is this like um, a drum, I have it right here. It's like, it's, like a, it's, a, it's a frame drum with wow. a synthesizer built into it. It's like a really cool thing. Um, so I did this song and then I had the song and I, I still didn't really know what to do with it. Uh, because it's not a dance song. And then um, I spoke to my uh, buddy Pesner uh, in, uh, on the West Coast. And he's like, well, I, I definitely want to do a dance remix of that. And then um, uh, the guys from The Oddness in Australia uh, also did uh, dance music remixes of it. So it, it became this really great package. And then The Clincher, the music video, which was um, Lego figures set in real life settings to depict quarantine. And I asked my followers on social media to send in photos of their Lego figures in their settings. So I got all of these photos sent from all over the world from people who were experiencing quarantine in, in various different ways. Um, and then my friend in, in LA where you are, Bob Jenkins, he, uh, he's a video editor, a very renowned video editor. And yeah. he said, you know, so who, who is editing that together? And like, well, uh, me on iTunes um, on iMovie and he's like well why don't I do it it's like well thank you so he put the whole thing together and then um it, it became what it became and 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 we put it on YouTube and uh, a lot of people are viewing it and it it's it's fantastic how this little idea of like oh let's make a song in quarantine became this big music video how many people participated how many people sent in videos to you um, probably about a hundred. Wow. Um, but the final selection was probably more like 30 people because, um, it, it's surprising how many people don't get the exact memo. Like it needs to be, it needs to be, <laughs> first of all, shot horizontally, not vertically. Uh, it needs to be actual Legos and not miniature figures of some other, uh, thing. Um, and that especially because we wanted to get Legos permission to do this and they would never give us permission 
if we would throw in a whole kind of imitation Lego. Right. Um, and then, uh, you know, the quality of the, the shot needs to be decent, obviously. And then you'd be surprised how many people send in photos of Stormtrooper Legos. I had no idea. <laughs> um, so I got about 100 photos of Stormtrooper Legos. I'm like, it's funny, but, you know. It doesn't uh, really fit. It only goes so far. Yeah. Um, so like, we wanted to really convey the average person going through quarantine and do that with Legos rather than Lego superheroes. And yeah, so there's one shot of Lego Batman, I guess, at, at the very end. That's like a funny thing. Uh, the ending um, is very good. We're going to be playing the video right now. You got to check out the video all the way to the very, 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 very end because it's very special. You're on a beach at the very end of the video, and I really like that a lot, how the video ends. So thank you so much for Zooming in with us, Jesse. It was great to catch up with you again. And um, I just had one more question. The tiny little human, like, are you the voice of the the video and the song? And is the song available to buy now? Yeah, the, the song is available everywhere on, on iTunes. There's still people still buy music. Uh, you can get it on Bandcamp. The great thing about Bandcamp is that you can pay as much as you want for it. So if you like it, go to Bandcamp and just like pay a hundred bucks for it. Uh, that's <laughs> but you can also buy it on iTunes or listen to it on Spotify or, or, or everywhere. And yes, it is my voice. Uh, I am the person who is singing it. There's a, an amazing recording studio here in the Bahamas, like right next door to it called Sanctuary Studios. Um, and that's where I recorded the the vocals for the song. Okay. Thanks again for talking with us. Make sure that you keep sending me your new music, my friend. And we're looking forward Absolutely. to having a little bit longer interview next time when you come on and talk about your music. But right now we're going to check out the video for Tiny Little Human. This is the Scum Frog. Congratulations, Jesse. See you later. Thank you, buddy. Ralph, Ralph. Groove Radio.